Well, made it back again, scrappers with another load. This, from the, this is from the guy that picked up from yesterday. He uh, called and told me he had a wash machine and an outside condenser unit. And then he loaded me up with those scaffolding and yeah, much barbecue grill, everything else. But uh, yeah, you can see I've got all kinds of stuff on here. Nice thing is there's yeah, nice vice grips. I'm not sure. Olympia. I don't know if Olympia made vice grips. I know they made beer. Olympia Brewery in Washington State. This workbench isn't really any good. Legs are bent up. All the wood is <laughs> swelling. Got a aluminum toolbox down there. I'm not sure we got something pneumatic here. I'm not sure what it is. Got two melt crates there full of stuff. Got this wheelbarrow. I just aired the tire up. We're gonna get two two wheelbarrows over here and put trash in one and metal in another. Got a nice big toolbox there. Looked in the drawers, they're all empty. A couple dirt, dirt dauber nests, but a tote full of junk. Another toolbox here. I don't know if there's anything in it or not, didn't really look. And this is full of who knows what. It, and I got this little Lincoln with the argon gas. It's a MIG or a TIG, I'm not really sure. He said he used to work at one time. Well, yeah, of course. Yeah. <laughs> Didn't everything, maybe. <coughs> I unloaded, I got two T-posts right there leaning up. <coughs> got that weed eater, electric one. Had about five or six bent T-posts already unloaded. But I got these milk crates full of stuff. Only two arms here. A few sockets, some wrenches I know, a little grease gun, who knows what's in all this stuff. So, try to sort through it tonight, maybe tomorrow a little bit. But I gotta go after, let's see, a washer dryer, treadmill, dishwasher, and a hot water tank tomorrow, and then Got to run to the feed store, get some cat food. If I got time, I got a mower to pick up, a riding mower. But right now, try to get this off here. I got this job box over here too. Go around the other side. Now I'm not sure about the wheels on this thing. If I have to bang them a few times with a hammer, they're probably rusted up because they're sitting on a dirt floor, buried down in the dirt. But uh, it's got, I don't know if it had locks here, but they're not there now. Then there's a hole in the top. So, not going to be able to sell it for a whole lot. Yeah. Somewhere, I'll have to price the new ones, but might get 20 to 50 out of it, maybe. Yeah. Depends on how hard up somebody is. Bench grinder's no good. Let's put the skill saw in there. Building hammer. I already got a couple of those, so I don't really need that. But hot plate, big old four-way for a truck. Aluminum rim. It's come off a Jeep. Pretty good tread on the tire. I have to talk to my neighbor see if he has any use for it for the tire. He can, he's got a log splitter. He can bust it down off and get it off the rim for me. Yeah, I got that bucket of tools there. So, I'm going to get going on this here in a minute. Yeah, I brought this in earlier, and then I thought, well, I'm going to run to Chickasha see if I can get some more barrels, because I got a guy wanting all the open tops that I got. So, we're going to come out Tuesday and get them. 
think I got 17 at $20 a piece, so that'd be a nice little payday. Whew. Easy money. This glucose monitor has got a bad connection. That's what that alarm is going off. So I got to rip it off and get a new one put on. Okay. Stay on pretty good for a little while, and then I, I get sweating out here, and they start coming loose. And looks like they modified this toolbox a little bit, you know, with the hasp. So may not get real good money out of it, but if I can't get 30, 40 out of it, 50 out of it, I'll just I can scrap it for the aluminum, or just keep it, keep stuff in. Who knows? Anyway, I guess I'll get off here and get get this unloaded, get it. Start dragging this stuff around somewhere. So we'll see you guys in the next video. Happy scrapping. Bye-bye.